It's the white noise of another financial predator in the news. For his own good. Someone who crossed the line for internet fraud and stole a lot of money. Priest of one million dollars. Got caught and lost everything. But there is one thing that made Cole Bartiromo different a standout among the Internet's most wanted. He was just a kid in high school. It wasn't always like this for Cole. Before he got into trouble, he was a suburban little leaguer in love with baseball. I was so focused, so excited about each and every game. But Cole was already starting to show another talent. It started off really innocently as a little kid with a growing obsession to make money. From the Little League fundraisers, I would sell the candy bars door to door to the neighbors for two or three dollars instead of the one dollar that the league said to sell them for. His next venture, learning how to scam would-be collectors on eBay. The thrill, I had thirty dollars, forty dollars, fifty dollars. Where it came from, I didn't know. I didn't know who they were. There was no face to the email address. It was just free money. At 15, Cole scavenged, then sold two coveted Tiger Woods rookie cards for $240,000 in a legitimate auction. His dad let him keep $5,000 and gave him access to a stock account. And that's when Cole Bartiromo really entered the big leagues. Here's how he did it. It's called an internet stock pump and dump. Cole bought penny stocks, then logged on to popular message boards and hyped them up. A classic pump and dump scheme is generated by someone who holds a security and who touts that security as going up in value. So the prices go up, and then once the prices go up, the person who's touting the security sells their shares at a profit, and then the prices collapse and everyone else gets a loss. People liked what they heard and bought the worthless stocks Cole was pitching, never knowing a teenager was waiting on the other end to finish them off. So then what do you do? Then I sell. Dump. Yeah, just get rid of it, dump it. And overnight, Cole turned $5,000 into $50,000. It was real money, and it was turning Cole into a real criminal. Were you surprised that people were so easily convinced, tricked? Yeah, I, I was amazed that it's... It was that easy to get people to buy a stock. By his senior year in high school, he was running a fake investment site called Invest Better 2001. And get this, the website promised investors a guaranteed return of 2,500%. He was offering risk-free investments from safe bets on sporting events. Believe it or not, strangers sent him $1 million in just one month. What in the world were you thinking? Me? Yeah. I was thinking, I feel really special. I'm in school, and I couldn't wait to get home and uh, continue running this company. I felt like a CEO. A Mission Viejo teenager is in trouble with the law after the Security and Exchange Commission accused him of defrauding people out of millions of dollars. Suddenly, Cole found himself in hot water, but he was also in the news and loving every minute of it. At first, I thought it was uh, awesome. <laughs> the teacher was coming up to me and asking for my autograph that first day on campus after the news broke. And what kind of teacher was he? An economics teacher. He got lucky. First time out, the SEC let him go. But teenage Cole had tapped into something dark and exciting. He found he could make a lot of money breaking the rules, and he was good at it. I had finally accomplished my goal of being a... Uh, a millionaire by the end of high school. And I've been saying that since I was 14, that I, that was my goal. It sounds ridiculous, but to me, I knew I could do it. No one ever taught me any of these things. One by one, they all came to me. At 19, he was at it again. He attempted to embezzle $400,000 from a Mission Viejo bank to fund more gambling. I'm walking to my car, and uh, all of a sudden, it's a scene out of a movie, you know? There's two or three cop cars, and a and, and guy gets out and says, put your hands up, and he's got a gun, he's pointing it. And I was just like, and I'm just, I'm just out of my mind. Do you think I've committed a crime? I have committed a federal crime? 
At that point, I realized I've, I've, I'm in deep trouble. This time, Cole got caught, and this time, he went to prison. Does it affect your banking relationship? Like if you... Looking back, Cole saw his victims as simple people who gambled against a master player and lost. Remarkably, he makes no apologies. If you decide to invest, you're taking a risk, you're making a gamble. So hopefully you put in your research. If your research is my opinionated message, more power to you. Roll the dice and see what happens. He has no empathy for his victims. Robert McGann was the assistant U.S. attorney who prosecuted Cole's case. And worst of all, I don't believe he truly has any empathy for his family on whom he has inflicted such pain and grief. I honestly don't believe that Cole has a shred of emotion for anyone other than himself. There are strict laws in place in California when it comes to Internet investing. You can only invest in a registered security. It has to be registered either with the state or, or with the SEC. And if you trade in a, a security that's not registered, then it's illegal trading. And there are civil and criminal violations uh, that would apply. So where does this story go from here? Cole Bartiromo is still thinking big. He's writing a book. He wants to go back to playing baseball. Mostly, though, he dreams of getting off probation and getting back onto the Internet. After all, in his mind, he's still a businessman and an entrepreneur. The reality is, though, at 24, Cole Bartiromo is a convicted felon. Having learned your lesson, why don't you follow your dad's footsteps and go to the 9 to 5 and... My dad, that's all my dad wants from me now. Uh, he said I should just get a job, be a hard worker like he is, a hard-working, blue-collar American like he is. Honest, uh -huh. reliable. Why not? I feel that's, that's throwing away the gifts I've been given.